Good evening all. It's currently, I think, I can't see because the digger is in the bloody way. Oh, uh, nearly caught to seven. It was on the floor and I didn't want to break it accidentally so I put it back up on its shelf. I need a bigger shelf for that, really. <clears throat> anyway, I've had a busy day. <coughs> um, mechanically, that is sorted. Gears work, brakes work. Just need to make some um, fine adjustments to the front brake. I've put a tube in the back tyre, replaced the back tyre. And yes, even though the tread points backwards, the tyres are on the correct way because I checked the rotation or the drive arrow. That's, <coughs> excuse me, one minute. <coughs> That's, <coughs> That's better, I think. <laughs> Now that seat post I put in there just for the bike to sit on so I could keep the wheel off the floor when it was upside down so I could test the gears. <clears throat> Tighten the bottom bracket up fine, I only needed a little tweak. Literally, not even a full turn. Not even half a turn, I don't think. <clears throat> maybe a, a third of a turn, maybe, just to tighten that up. So, I've got to find a seat post. I've got a seat, that's not a problem. It's just finding a post that'll fit in that hole. Well, it does, but I've got a feeling even with a clamp on there that's uh, still going to be too small. Oh, and I got greedy in Sainsbury's this morning and bought the rest of them. <laughs> well, there was only seven on the shelf, and most of those had open boxes and uh, most people won't buy anything like this with the, um, you know, the lid all flapping around. But the figure was still in there, so I just bought them as they were. And just sorted the lids out when I got them back. <clears throat> that box is a bit too damaged, so I left it down there. Kept a couple boxed for myself. And I've got one unboxed somewhere. Where is he? What have I done with him? He's behind the camera. His camera shy is behind the camera. No. <clears throat> <coughs> oh dear. Yeah, so that's nearly good to go. Uh, I've been finding some parts up for the Claude Butler as well, because I was having to dig around in the outside cupboard. Got the handlebar down there, or a nice handlebar. <coughs> we just mosey on into the bedroom I've got a seat post in it, it will fit but I think it's a bit long so uh, what I might do is cheat and just take my hacksaw and just trim it hasn't got to be a clean cut because it's going to be in there and it's going to be a bike for me anyway so I'm not fussed, I'm not going to see a, a um, angled cut because I can't cut straight I've got a little um, bench of ice downstairs in the shed so I can just take that down and uh, trim it off. It's an aluminium post so it's not going to take much effort to cut it. Um, I've actually decided I'm not going for chunky mountain bike tyres on this one. I've got some hybrid tyres down in the shed which have the um, knobbly chunky bits around the side but like a smoother road type tread around the middle so I'm going to put those on this I've already got my um, other called battle with proper knobbly mountain bike tyres on it why do I need to do another one <clears throat> I don't so I'm not going to <laughs> um, put those two ladies bikes up on um, Gumtree one up on eBay because I've ran out of room because I put those chicken figures on there. Because uh, as long as I can sell those and build up some funds in my PayPal, I can then buy all the um, extra parts I need for the hospital project and a bit more. Bi oh, there. Try again. A few more bits for those stairs over there. So. Uh, it's a lot easier than making sure I've got money in my bank account. I can just make sure I've got it in PayPal, so. I've got wind picking up today. Uh, apart from that, I haven't really done a lot. 
<clears throat> I've already had someone interested in the um, girls' bikes. So I don't know if he's replied yet. He wants to come and have a look. Um, he actually asked if both of the ladies' bikes are still available. And yes, someone was a clown and offered me 15 quid on both. Replied to both ads and offered me 15 quid. And I was like, on your bike. Pun not intended. <laughs> that is an old sign here on your bike. Uh, reply. He, well, I did say late morning because I couldn't be asked tonight, but uh, the bikes are already locked around back, so if he wants to come now, um, just bear with me for a second. You can just look at my tummy. <laughs> Just asked him, let me know how long he's going to be so I can wait at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, 15 quid is a bit of a, a bit low for a 25 quid bike, you know. I don't think people get the meaning of or near offer. You know, you're supposed to offer near, you know, knock a little bit off. Not a third of the price. I just don't, if I'm not happy with an offer, I just don't reply, you know, I'm not an asshole that will uh, reply with a snarky comment. As I have to admit, it is tempting sometimes. Anyway, I don't know when he's going to be here, or she, or them, it could be both, I don't know. <laughs> um, I know it's a guy that's replying, or the account, the account is on a guy's name, anyway. Yeah, I better go, um to the bathroom before they get here because I don't think I could hold on for hold on but if uh, you went, nah. don't think I could wait until they've been and gone so I'll uh, be back in a little while might find the stop button there it is okay it's one lady's bike gone one down one to go they uh, took the um, Apollo so the silver Apollo is gone, I've still got the purple one. I uh, paid the full £25 for it, so tomorrow I've got to go and top up my electric meter because I completely forgot about it until it went out earlier um, when I was sitting on the throne. <laughs> of all the times for it to pick to go out. Anyway, I've dug a couple of, um, well I thought I had hybrid tyres down there, but I couldn't find them. But I did find these couple of Schwalbe Marathon road tires. That's what I'll put on this one. Um, so I've just sat those on to see what it looks like. I've changed the wheel nuts for some clean ones. Put the dry layer on. Well, it was already attached to the hanger, so I just left it on there because it's got to go on the bike anyway. So, uh, so I've got to find a chain. Find a front dryer. I could have had the front dryer with this, but it was rusty as hell. It wasn't worth it. Um, I found these, but I'm not sure if I like them or not. Mm. I'm not sure. I'll just bolt them on there temporarily to see what they look like. Found a clamp for the seat post, but still no seat post. 
Still no seat post for the uh, blue one either. I've got no idea. I've got some more somewhere and I can't find them. <laughs> Completely uh, vanished. And I've got half a dozen or more of them, but I didn't find them in the cupboard when I was in there earlier. I think this is going to look um, pretty damn nice when it's done. And I'm definitely going to need some new forks in the front of that, so uh, when I take trips down the recycle centre, I'll have to keep my eyes open for parts for that. But yeah, that is such a long seat post. It's not designed for bikes like this, though. That's the thing. It's designed for... Um, um, those sort of uh, jump bikes where the frame is a bit lower and at an angle is what it's designed for. I really don't think that's going to work. I might try it in a bit but I don't think that's going to work. Experience is telling me it's not going to work but I still want to try. <laughs> want to be stubborn and try. Seriously, I can't find... They can't be... They're not hard to miss. I mean, they're friggin' great silver posts like that. And like I said, I've got half a dozen or more of them. Uh, but I don't know where they're gone. I thought maybe they were out on the landing, but I couldn't see any there. Uh, when I was down there, I did lock up all the bikes and whatnot and lock the shed up. Uh, I've got that giant frame I want to put on eBay and do that tomorrow. Now that I've got some room, it still sucks that I'm only restricted to 10 items on eBay, but uh, uh, there isn't much I can do about it because that was my own fault in the first place. Alright, I've got them. Laying around in here anywhere, have I? Yeah, I don't think those shifters suit it. I think I'm going to have to go for grip shifts. Because I'm not feeling trigger shifters on this one either. And I know I can pick up uh, grip shifts cheap enough. And I'll need a pair. I mean, I've got loads of grip shifts, but nothing... That would suit this. What pain in the ass. I'm getting pissed off because I can't find the friggin' seat posts. Hang on, I'm gonna have to take my boots off. Because uh, I've got itch to the back of my leg, which is covered by the boot. So I can't actually get to said itch. There is one thing I'm going to do in a little while. I'm going to move the PC that's currently sitting in the kitchen and make some room. Whoops. Make some room. And we'll uh, go tear apart an old microwave. An old analog one, not a digital one. The one I took apart at Mum's was a digital. Hence all the circuit board, which is actually on top of that CD stack in front of the camera. That's better. I actually managed to get to the itch. Right. Uh, so, it's just the seat holding me back on this blue one. Apart from that, it's good to go. Uh, I've got a couple of saddles down here. What I was going to put on it, I don't think it's going to suit it, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, I'll just plonk one on when I can find the boxy post. Trim that one down, I think. Hmm. Right, I suppose I'll go and prep the kitchen so we can take apart this microwave. So, uh, I'll see you in a bit. 
one microwave. Right, a bit of a makeshift camera stand here. I hope it's going to work. Ooh, that might be a little bit too tall. Let's just try a different configuration. Uh, I'll put you there for the time being because that's where the screws are anyway. And I've got the typical square pin, three pin British plug with that should be a 13 amp fuse. This is the sealed type of plug as well. I'm just adjusting my screen so I can actually see what I'm doing on camera. So a 13? It is a 13. I won't be needing that in the plug because I'm not turning it on. Warning, microwave energy, do not remove this cover. Well, where's the fun in that? No. For most microwaves, they take apart exactly the same way. I know there's two screws this side, there should be two screws the other side. There's usually a few on the back as well. The digital one I took apart had um, self tappers in there. What we got on the back? We've got one, two, three, four on the back. We've got one here, two at the top, at either corner, and then just another one down in the other corner. <laughs> you sneaky bastards! Sneaky bastards. They've put a torque screw down here. One of those where you need the um, Torx with a hole down the middle. Yep, they've done both bottom corners like that. I ain't going to stop for getting it. No, that's not going to stop me. one screw on this side. Now, the digital one I took apart didn't have any torque screws on it, they were all Phillips. Right, so, has this got a brand on it? No, so it might just be a sort of a generic store brand maybe? Sainsbury Supermarkets Limited. Its model number is 587115. Basic 70L, 70L manual microwave oven, 230, 240 volts AC, 50 hertz, 2450 megahertz. Input 1150 watt output 700 watt for household use only date code 9001 9th month 2001 oh, that would be 09 wouldn't it not a clue <laughs> Warning! Microwave and high voltage inside. Be sure not to remove the enclosure. This appliance is equipped with a grounded plug for your protection against possible shock hazards and against possible... No, got my eyes lost. Hang on. Hazards. And should be connected to a properly grounded outlet. This device is to be serviced only by properly qualified service personnel. Disconnect power plug before servicing. Removal of the enclosure with product energised could expose servicemen to hazardous high voltage potential. Well, enough of that box. I'm just going to go and get my uh, thingy tool kit and a pair of wire cutters.
cutters, screwdriver, multimeter. Multimeter just because I'm curious. <laughs> up this way. Oh no, you don't need one hole in for this, that's just my eyesight playing tricks. Just need um is it, is it a T15 maybe? Yep. So told you they won't stop me. I've got Torx bits. <laughs> okay, that one might, because I can't actually... Uh, the screwdriver thing is broken, so it won't bloody grip. It just turns. Uh, I didn't know it did that. Well, actually, I did. I've just forgotten it did that. Oh, bloody. Ah, oh, for pity's sake, hang on. Plan B. Try these. Sure, one of these bloody fit. Oh. Oh. No. Are you kidding me? I'm getting medieval on this fucking thing in a minute. Can't find my doodah bit. My other little screwdriver, that's what I'm looking for. Plan C. Pliers. We'll put that in there. No, we'll put that in the correct screw. And I'll try and loosen it off. That. <laughs> Told you I'd win. It's not the very best tool device I bought from Lidl's, to be honest. Not the worst. I don't know. Most of the tools I've bought from Lidl's have been pretty good, but since that screwdriver bit isn't. The actual bits themselves are fine, it's the handle. Oh well. It wasn't too expensive, so if they come round again, I'll uh, see if I can grab another one. What I'm gonna do, no I'm not, not yet. I was gonna cut the cable off, but I just realised I've got that. The hell was that? There we go. I just had to damage part of the case. I'm just gonna fold this like that. No idea if my scrap man still uh, collects the scrap or not. 
What I want to do, just out of curiosity, that goes all blurry. So I'm just going to check something for con continu continuity. And that is going to be the earth. Put that up there. Yep, you do have an earth. I figured it would. Right. Almost an identical setup to that digital one. Look at this. We've got the uh, fan at the back here, just like in the digital one. The transformer in the bottom, just like the digital one. Your microwave doodah right here, just like on the digital one I took apart. Input power supply here. This is a different one though. Same place, slightly larger board. Lamp. And the only other difference is this has just got um, analog dials on the front. Not um, digital buttons. That's pretty much the only difference. Oh, it's got a bell on it as well. Dinner's ready! Right, so I'm going to sit you back here. I might raise you up for this one. So you can see a bit better. I'm just going to turn the screen around. Grab the Phillips screwdriver. Now, the lamp is the easiest thing to take out. There's just two metal tabs that you've got to bend up. Ow. It is literally just held in with two metal tabs that are bent over. So you just bend up one, bend up two. Uh, usually you can lift it up. Um, I suppose you could change the light bulb if you really wanted to, but they're not really designed for that. Just took the um, shield for the light, um, light bulb off. I do believe these are just screw in light bulbs. Nope, that one's actually sealed into the lamp holder. You can't actually um, unscrew that one. I've had them where you can unscrew them. But uh, no, this one actually looks like it's all part of the same fit. Made in Korea. Doesn't say north or south. North or there. Try again. North or south. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um, I'm actually going to try and pull this one apart without cutting any wires. Well, apart from the mains input, which doesn't really matter. We've got two earth wires on here. We've got one from the mains lead. Just that sight, aren't you? One from the mains lead and one from the, um, from the board. So I'm just going to take those off. Like so. Ah! Oh, no. My mistake. I thought the wires were soldered to the board on this one, but they're not. They are plugged in still, so if we disconnect the fan wire here, should pull off, I think. Are they spade? Yeah, they are spade ones. There we go, there's one. Some pull off really, really easy, and others are a pain in the backside. Live in. That's what I'm doing now, I'm just uh, pulling wires off. So there's live in. Well, I do apologise. For some reason, this camera stopped recording all on its own and turned off. Um, so, I've gotten as far as taking off the main power board. And we've got four 5 watt resistors. And if memory serves correctly, I wanted a couple of these for a bench power supply I wanted to build. Out. That was creepy, don't know what that was. 
out of a old computer power supply. What else have we got on here? We've got the fuse. I believe that's a capacitor of some sort. We've got two blue capacitors of another type there, and I've forgotten what they're called. Whoops, electrolytic in this corner. Relay, I believe. 250 volt AC. China. <laughs> And a big ass choke right there. And an earth cable. That's what that is. And the only other thing I've taken off is this. Another one of those. I need to look into this. There's a code on the a code. I'm going all posh today. Can you see the code? There we go. I'll turn it up the right way for you. So if anyone wants to Google that for me, or for yourselves, or whatever. Here we go. So, I was just, t uh, well, when the camera turned off, I was in the process of taking this off. So there's one screw on the right here, or the left as you look at it, I should say, to take off. And there's two on that side of snipped wires that go to it. So, I'm going to put the camera back down, turn the screen over. Undo these three screws. Now, these things are completely harmless so long as you don't break them. So I'm going to put that over there. That's what creates all your microwaves. Uh, I'll do the transformer last. No, I won't. I'll do it now because I'll get a brick out of the way. To do that, you've got to go from underneath. Now, it's just these uh, four screws here you've got to undo. So once you've undone them, your transformer should come out. I might have to cut a few more wires though. Mother truck and transformer out of the way. Yay. Uh, the fan, not an easy thing to take off. It's just the one screw at the top here. Plus you've got to disconnect something that's connected to the chassis down here. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's a diode of some sort. If it is, it's a bloody big one. Oh, okay, this one's got a screw at the bottom as well. 
the other one didn't. The other one just had the one that was just hooked in at the bottom, but this one's got two. So uh, keep your eyes open. Some will probably have just the one screw, some will have the two. So there's another one, another mains fan. And at the bottom here, the big ass cap, I'll leave that on there for now. But, uh, not a lot left in here now, is there? Some wiring. Control panel and one, two moment, momentary switches. Oh. <sighs> one. Again, I suppose depending on whether it's digital or analog, depend on the number of uh, switches you have because I suppose these switches tell the controller on the main board what the microwave is doing. Oh, and by the way this bit also doubles up as the door catch so when you take it off your um, door will no longer hold shut. Right, now I know these are Butt pain to get off of them, so I'm going to cut those. Three to that one, and two that goes to something underneath the microwave. Oh, this one has got three on it. It's got one hidden round the back here. Right, so I've just got one more. I'm going to take the whole thing off, including the plastic, I think. Take this top screw out. Is there any more? There is. There's one down the bottom. Again, the digital one only had one screw. I do apologise for my arm getting in the way. So I can't help it because I put the screw in a dumbass position. Is the only screw I can see. <clears throat> um, what do I do with that knife? Into the plaza. I need something to release the tabs with, it seems. Hopefully. There we go. A little bit of brute force goes a long way. There we go. One empty microwave. Don't want that. Go on the bin. Don't want that. Go on the bin. You could make like a um, artistic spray booth out of one of these. <laughs> you can't do that with the digital ones. Low, medium, high. Interesting to take that apart later because this is actually moving something in the main body. That top one there that sets your power rating. Low, medium, low, medium, medium, high, and high. And then you've got your little timer underneath it. Right, I'm chuck all that on there and I can deal with that later. That's the microwave assorted. We'll dispose of that later as well. I'm guessing from the sound of wet tires on the road that it's been raining since uh, it got dark. Has it? 
I wouldn't know because I can't see. Oh, actually, yeah, look at the cross at the road. Yeah, and out here, I can see. It's not going to show up on camera, but I can see. I, I can see, I can. Right. Oh. Okay. La -da -da -da. Right. I'm going to disappear. No, I'm not. I'll end the video because I'm not going to be doing much else anyway, so... Uh, oh, can't see myself. There we go. So, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye.